to your message. Let's see what spirit has for you. We're going to be taking a look at your energy and then an energy that you are <clears throat> closely tied to, connected to. So we'll see how you're feeling or how it, they are feeling, them. All right, what can you show me about Scorpio's energy at this time? We have the Five of Pentacles out first. Card of Taurus. We also have the Ace of Cups. And the Two of Pentacles. Show me the energy that Scorpio is closely connected to. How are they feeling? Five of Cups reverse. The Tower. And the Three of Wands reverse. Okay. Scorpio, what I'm seeing for you here is whatever you're closely connected to, you are debating on giving it another chance or starting fresh or I don't know. There's, there has been something that has happened between you and this energy that kind of was maybe a bit destructive on their end or maybe, maybe your end, but... It feels like you are trying to heal or you're trying to basically reason with yourself in regards to giving this energy another chance. I feel like they might have done something or showed up in this connection they have with you. They might have showed up in a way that was maybe a bit reckless or maybe acting before they thought, right? Think acting before they think, not thinking before they act pretty much. And it's like... I don't know. Their energy shows up wanting another chance or wanting to heal something with you. But you were the one that seems to be hurt, right, On in this situation. Like, they did something that hurt you. And now you're kind of in this in-between state trying to figure out, like, okay, where do we go from here? How do we fix this? Do I even want to fix this? It seems like you do, but there is, it is up for debate, you know? It's like you want to heal something or mend something or make things right, but they might have, they, the other energy, might have acted a bit selfishly, right, in regards to whatever happened and created this stagnation. This could be a family member with the Ten of Cups. All right. What did this person do? What is this? The Four of Wands. Could be a family member. The Seven of Cups. The Knight of Cups reverse. The Knight of Swords. Page of Swords reverse. This feels like an energy that has maybe been unattentive in regards to the needs of this connection, right? We all have needs or desires to be met in a connection. And this other energy feels like they were not playing their part in regards to showing up for you in the ways that you needed them to. Maybe acting a bit impulsively or... Again, doing things before they act, it just feels like they they were not very aware of what their actions were doing in, when it came to the connection you guys share. Because their actions seem to have been creating some sort of distance or disconnect between you both. But it's like they're acting before they're thinking, so they're not even understanding what, what that's doing. Page of Swords reverse the world reverse, <laughs> the chariot reverse. It's like, I don't know. They just showed up recklessly. What is Scorpio feeling about this? The lovers. And that's the thing. You really do enjoy this connection or this person with the Ten of Wands. One more. And the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like everything within you is saying start new, start fresh. But it's almost like, is it still worth it, right? Is it worth going through all the obstacles or, you know, is it worth all the energy it's going to take to start something new here? With the Eight of Wands reverse, the Devil reverse, it feels like you could be not talking or communicating with this energy at this time. Maybe giving them some time to think and sit with themselves, the Sun in reverse, about their actions. <laughs> One more the other side. I see you not happy and I see them wanting to rebuild and make things right. 
although it is happening at a very slow pace, you know, they're taking their sweet time with making this right. Or maybe you're just, it's all, it's maybe the ball's in your court, right? To decide, like, do you even want to start fresh, start new? I don't know. I see you really disappointed with how something is played out in regards to both energies present. You're disappointed, but you also want to maybe start fresh, start new, because this could be somebody that you love. This could be deeply romantic, although your energy has been disregarded or maybe just not handled with care on their end, you know? I see you wanting to start something new, but you're almost like, is the juice worth the squeeze? What's the outcome? The Eight of Pentacles. The Six of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Eight of Wands reverse. One more. The Ten of Swords, the Empress, the Six of Cups. I think you have a lot of love for this, whatever this is, Scorpio, put the Hierophant reverse, the Empress and the Six of Cups. But I also think that you're not here for anybody. You're not letting anybody play with your energy at this time. I think you value yourself or respect yourself too much. And so although you may have a deep soul connection to this thing, and although you may want to work on it or they're going to try to fix things, you seem to be in an energy of like, moving forward, moving on, or putting an end to whatever this is, because you're not here for the drama. You're not here for the power game, the power struggles, the drama, the jealousy, the lack of taking accountability. Like, you're not here for that. <laughs> and so I do see you, like, debating whether you should work on it or not. But at the end of the day, I see you really putting your self-respect first or just knowing where your morals, values, and beliefs lie, you know? And they don't lie with the complication that this other energy is showing up with. A lot of self-love and there's a deep soul connection, but I don't see you in a place wanting to recommit to something that is maybe reckless or just they don't really think about your energy and what their actions are doing to you. I see that. Any advice for Scorpio? The Ace of Wands reverse. The Two of Cups reverse. The Strength card. Yeah, I guess your advice is trust yourself, right? If there's a lack of reciprocity, if there's a lack of connection, if there's a lack of passion, right? Don't let the fact that you have history with this energy, don't let that get the best of you, right? Don't just give in because you have a history with them and you maybe feel like you owe anything to them or I don't know, right? If you're if you're saying if your energy showing up saying I'm unhappy and of course I want to fix it, but like is it worth it? Trust your intuition, trust your gut um and be strong enough to like stand in your power or at least set boundaries, right? Like if you if this is an energy you're going to reconnect with, make sure that the boundaries are clear or at least maybe different than they were last time because that way you can get the respect that you deserve from whatever energy you're dealing with. All right. Closing message for Scorpio. What do you want? What do you want to leave Scorpio with? The truth. Ooh, speak your truth. Or truth could be coming in towards you and acceptance, accepting the truth. Yeah. The truth that you feel inside of you, accept it. Knowledge. You're far more knowledgeable. Grace. This could be the type of ending that is not necessarily something you wanted, but now that you are in this energy of like self love and self respect, it's like you're being graceful with this ending and how it's playing out because we also have stability. So whatever you're walking away from or whatever truth you're acknowledging, it's going to create more stability in your life. Those are miracles and renewal and beauty. So keep loving on yourself. Miracles are on the way. This is a new chapter and a new start. Um, and one where there's going to be consistency with 
you and your energy, right? Because the people, places, and things you surround yourself by seem to be um, that of your choosing, right? You're not putting up with any BS from anybody. But Scorpio, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated. If you want to follow me on social media, donate to the channel, Letting Go, Transmutation. Wow. Um, or book a personal. Links will be in the description box below or my about tab. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.